a reasonably high ranking level. So box draws and uh, early speed are certainly going to be key factors moving forward in the back end of the program. All right, on the way to the boxes and Sky One's not too far off joining us. As I said, been a big night. Alice Bay taking out the fire ball and although Palawa King wasn't a part of it, it was in similar style to what the King would have produced in tonight's final and followed the band faultless in the maturity and put up some exceptional numbers on the semaphore board and certainly on a night that isn't conducive to fast times. But big night, Nath. We loom up to race 10. They're almost at the boxes. How did you read this race and who do you think is going to win it, most importantly? Yeah, I went 1, 4, 8 and 7. I went with the Gibbons runner off the red here, Yamanu Bale, a greyhound, who I think has got enough early speed to position in the first half of the field here. And I think that's a key factor for him. He's been drawing wide and just hasn't been able to get into the race, but he's been closing off quite strongly. I think here off an ear, near rails draw, he might be able to hold the speed. He might be able to be leaders back or somewhere similar going into the run to the corner. And from there, I think he gets his chance to return to the winner's circle. I think Royal Gypsy's an interesting runner for the daily camp. A couple of weeks freshen up comes back to a much easier grade than what it's been racing and I could see her rolling to the top here and giving him something to chase. Mackinac Peach off the wide draw for Jeff Britton uh, was runner-up in a maturity heat here last week, comes back to a stock standard fifth grade so looks well placed here and knockout norm for Maddie Lanigan uh, is a strong type, will suit a will be OK off the wide draw and can certainly figure in the finish. But I think the Gibbons off the inside, box one draw here, Yamano Bal is my on-top selection in race number 10. And it's been a pretty lethal combination in the maturity tonight, Nath, Gibbons and box one. Yeah, they've uh, had a few box ones tonight and uh, they were able to use it there and hopefully they'll be able to use it here with a, a not a noted fast beginner, but a greyhound who should get uh, somewhere up on speed with a couple of slow beginners drawn initially on his outside. He should be at a position closer than he has off on suitable wide draws of recent times and gets his chance to return to the winners list. OK, Yamanu, Bale, Nathan Rooney's on top selection and being probably the only one supported here from a market point of view, being $2.70 into $2.50. This is race 10 here at the Meadows and Maturity Night. Here's Dan. Just about set. The green light about to be turned on. Second row moving in. And they're all in. Race 10. And the green light is turned on. Lua rolls, race 10, favourite is the red. Racing, Yamanu Bale jumped OK, but there was better speed out from Mackinaw Peach, and it's flying over with Royal Gypsy, but the Peach leads. Mackinaw Peach in front of Royal Gypsy. Up to third goes Surf's up. Behind them was Rev Rose. Trying to get through was Yamanu Bale, but it got squeezed up. Abraxas Bale, then Varsity Bale, and knockout Norm. Mackinaw Peach, here comes Royal Gypsy with a run. R looming large also, Rev Rose making ground. Royal Gypsy, Mackinaw Peach. Royal Gypsy, Mackinaw Peach. Dead heat! Dead heat! Can't split it! Mackinaw Peach, Royal Gypsy, there is nothing in it. Third, it'll be Rev Rose. Fourth across will be Varsity Bale. Surf's up was next, followed on by Knockout Norma, Braxis Bale and Varsity Bale. It's 30 and 24 and this is as close to a dead heat as you'll see. Belting finish to the end of race 10. They've gone 30 and 24. Heads up, heads down across the line. Nathan Rooney, if you lean one way, which way is it? I'm leaning to the blue with no conviction here. I just thought he had a bit more momentum, but uh, the pink's got his head down right on the line. So there's not much there, but uh, yeah, most probably on that freeze frame, Jason, most probably with the eight. Not wrong, nothing on the semaphore board just yet. We'll wait until we get that officially before declaring the result. But here's how the race looked from a head-on point of view. And for Mackinaw Peach, it's always hard to cross on these two-turn tracks at city level, isn't it, Nath? But she was able to do that here. And the Greyhound that's not over-possessed with early speed. So 5.10 to carve across off the wide draw was certainly a good run. Real gypsy. A couple of weeks to freshen up, really appreciated getting back to a, a stock standard grade five and was stalking Mackinaw Peach the whole way and, and really had a big lunge on the line. Still no number on the semaphore board as we speak. They dictated from the front them too. Uh, the well back favourite Manu, Manu Bale was able to uh, not hold a spot initially, Jason, then wanted to move up the track when the pressure come on through the corner. So that was the un doing of Yamanu Bale, but uh, yeah, the two on speed dictated that race and there certainly isn't much between them. Were you surprised by Royal Gypsy? Well, maybe not tonight, but generally from memory, she was a high speed and she was under threat late where 
in her most recent start, she's ran on, and particularly tonight, where she's almost, well, we don't know yet, but picked up a win. Yeah, well, she's over three years of age. She's had, you know, 71 starts before tonight, so 72 starts now. So she's certainly a, a well-seasoned campaigner. And when you have, uh, you know, you've got the back end of your career and you have that much racing, you kind of do uh, change your racing pattern slightly. You don't have the spring in your legs to, to be the lid pinger that you were, but you you'd be able to run that 500 out a lot more stronger and she was uh, able to do that tonight in the concluding stages to try to chase after McAnoe Patch a Peach on the run to the line. McAnoe Patch, it's probably the next one that, that Georgie Ferrugia could Georgie. have uh, lined up. But in terms of Royal Gypsy, Nathan, I remember people saying in years gone by that as they get older, it doesn't really change the overall time that they run that is still in a different way is that what you agree with as well yeah somewhat yeah they seem to be stronger at the back end of of their career and, and don't have that early brilliance as much um, and she's most probably pretty proven in that she's had a lot of 500 meter work throughout her career she's had a fast pb of 29 and 89 throughout that uh, career at the track and distance she's a 10-time winner and five of them have been here but yeah she doesn't have that explosive speed that what she once possessed early in her career all right, what's your gut feel when photo finishes take this long? Well, I'd be saying a dead heat because it uh, it never takes this long with uh, the oh, images there at the it moment. Is. And there it is, four and eight. They couldn't split them, and we couldn't split them either. So, uh, yeah, 30 and 22 on the board, 5, 10, 17, 86. And uh, they couldn't split four and eight in the run to the line. No, they couldn't. And getting another look here at the slow-mo in the run to the line, and not only do they hit the, hit the line with noses together, their strides are almost identical. You, you were side on. You would have lost Mackinac Peach then. Yeah, well, they were, weren't they? They were uh, literally the last 50 metres. They were, they were to and fro, and I'm not sure either of them got their, uh, their way in front for the last 50 metres, and they, they've hit the line locked together. All right, so dead heat between...